G'day Wire Wizards, just want to have a bit of a chat before I pay my repair, I suppose, for this metering. The issue was is that the person was getting free power. I don't know how that happens, don't you check your power bills, but apparently the customer said he didn't pay his power, he didn't have to pay his power bills, or his power bills were paid by someone else or some shit, I don't know what the hell was. Anyway, I was only there to fix the problem. So I just made, you know, some videos just to cover my ass of what I found. Now what I found, right, the customer's watching me the whole time too, and, he's, and he, whoever upgraded his switchboard is an absolute rat's nest. The mains, okay, the mains went straight to the main switch, and then bus, bus bar connected to the rest of his circuits. So yeah, mains in, straight to these circuits. <laughs> I mean, it's safe, because it's, it's protected by a HRC fuse at the pole, and, you know, it has circuit protection in place. So in that sense, you know, it, it's 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 safe, but it's wrong because it's not metered. Anyway, I've re repaired it to the best of my ability. As I said to you, the switchboard was a bit of a rat's nest. Um, and I also discovered in, in amongst your switchboard, he's got some non-RCD protected circuits. Now I'll also take you through and I'll show you the 1991 standard of when safety switches were first introduced. They still weren't allowed, uh, they, sorry, they were still allowed to have non-RCD protected devices, but it was only strictly for fridges. Yeah, and I just gonna say too, I never modded the, the subboard, and I recommended it as an upgrade, you know, to the customer. So, unfortunately you have to deal with what you work with. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I would just piss it all off, rebuild it, and just make it to uh, 2018 standards. Anyway, enjoy. Spot what's wrong with this meter wiring. It's missing something, isn't it? Let's pull it apart and find out exactly what they've done. That actually looks like a genuine seal. Hey? That hey. actually looks like a genuine seal, whoever's done that. Yeah. So we got line, neutral, low. It's a red, that, means, that, that color's meant to be black. But yeah, they've totally taken it out and they've put the main straight into the main switch. Here's my mains coming in. That should be going to the meter, and it's not. Um, the neutral's actually soldered though, very interesting. She's all out, she's bare. Let's do some meter wiring properly. <laughs> Sweet, so there's a new one in, taking the old one out. Here you can see where I've extended the mains, redone all my meter neutral. Okay, there's his meter wiring done. I just put his main switch that he had inside out there. I'm gonna put a 50 inside, so we got some diversity factor. Okay, got the switchboard back together. Got the new mains back in. Got my MEN out and um, the neutral out. Let's do a polarity test and turn this bad boy on. Okay, Wire Wizards, I just want to go through this little last bit here as to why I didn't put RC protection on the circuits. This is this is 91 standards. We can thank uh, Doug for this. He's a walking bloody rule book, I guarantee you. And he pointed out to me because I said uh, specifically to him, I'll show you the thread below where we discuss this sort of stuff as well. If you want to join Crappy Electrical, Doug has also got himself a page called Prior Knowledge, which is probably a little bit more specialised and if you more of a want to have some more technical aspects to it. Anyway, I uh, thought that uh, this part here, right, because this is 1991, so I, I presume that those aircons were installed prior to 1991. And the reason why I state that is because the only the only circuits you could get away with having non-RCD protection were just for fridges or freezers. So I put it towards Doug, shouldn't air cons also have, you know, a compressor inside them? And, you know, although he agrees, but no, it only specifically states supply refrigerators or freezers is black and white. And it also mentions, like, alterations or repairs. So if it's a like-for-like -like sort of replacement, you've got to replace the power point with another power point then you didn't need to have varsity protection for it. Anyway, I hope that's a good summary to the video. Cheers, guys, and thanks, Doug, for the this rule book, because this is a lesson that needs to be taught. We, we as electricians, should be able to access, you know, period-correct standards. It's a, it's a friggin' joke. We, I can't even do it, and I'm a, I'm a bloody tape student, and you should be able to go look back and learn how all this shit should work back when it was done back in the day. Otherwise, how else can you certify that that installation is correct? 